What is been by background job? Background job basically suppose any process we have to execute. Suppose any process we have to execute, and that we have to process execute the process in the background. Okay, in the background means for example, uh, ME twenty nine, ME fifty nine. We know, ME fifty nine. This is for a. This is for a, automatic conversion of the purchase requisition to purchase order. Okay, purchase requisition to purchase order. Already we know that ME fifty nine and T code. Just we have to execute this T code, and by using this ex execute this uh, T code, we can uh, create make, means we can convert the purchase requisition into purchase order. Okay, multiple T codes are there. MRQ also is there. MRQ just we have to uh, add the material document or any other such criteria. The criteria is there. Just we have to click on the uh, execute. The all data will be fetched from the background, and system will create the invoice document. Okay, we will experiment on a ME fifty nine N. For example, let's take one material master, one supplier master for testing. Before that, tell me what is the precondition of executing ME fifty nine N T code? Let's consider one material. Randomly, okay. This is the material, and one supplier also we want. Okay, what is the precondition of ME fifty nine NT code? Suppose we have to uh, execute. Uh, hmm? Material master must be automatically the indicator to file. Correct. Should be X. Should be X means it should be active. Okay, first we will complete this precondition. MM zero two. Auto PO integrator should be active. Then next, uh, purchasing view model automatic view. Correct. Okay, it is already activated. So next, next precondition. Source list maintain. If the source list to be activated or for the fixed vendor, info record should be there. Okay, then source list. Does not exist. Just we have created. Okay, it was created for wrong supplier. Okay. Okay, all preconditions are completed. Now, what is next step? Tell me. Tell me first on normal ME fifty nine N. Sir, uh, hmm. ME fifty nine N put me uh, back in love. You first, we have to create purchase requisition. First, we have to create purchase requisition. Okay. 
in purchase requisition this criteria this field should be there material and source of supply source of supply should come this uh, our 20 and save it Okay, now this purchase requisition we can convert to the purchase order by using ME50. Nine. Okay, I will remove everything from here. I don't want to enter vendor purchase requisition and execute. Okay. Purchase requisition successfully converted, purchase order successfully created, and this is the purchase order number. This is a purchase requisition number. Okay. So this is a uh, logic here. Now the thing is that we have to execute this T code automatically, ME59N, and we don't want user interaction in between that. So what we have to do? We have to app, uh, we have to set one background job for the ME fifty nine entry code. So automatically purchase requisition will be there. That is satisfying the criteria of uh, this automatic conversion. It will be converted automatically. How to do that? That thing, this thing, we can achieve through the background job concept. Now how to set background job? Step number one is a create a variant for the T code, and here T code is a ME fifty nine. And how to what is the variant? See. Suppose I am executing ME59N. Every T code has variant. Suppose in that variant, I am going to add vendor number. Why vendor number? For this particular vendor, I want to, and from your end also, when you are preparing the ME59N variant, keep fix vendor here. So for your particular supplier only, this uh, background job will be applicable. Suppose you are keeping other criteria, other purchase requisitions will be converted automatically. Okay. Which is not created by you. So, just one second. Okay. So, fix vendor will be there. I'm not going to add purchase requisition because system will identify automatically this purchase requisition based on the fixed vendor. Now what we have to do, we have to click on the save. We have to click on the save. So this is a variant. We have to give variant name. Suppose I will give today's date 2409. Description also I will give same. This is a variant creation. Okay, this is a variant creation. We have created variant successfully. Okay. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing we have to set the background job in SM36. Define the background job. Here, job name we have to give. Very two, three simple steps are there. Job name we have to give. Then we have to click on the start condition. Start condition means here we have to give the frequency. I will use immediate. Immediate means within a uh, four or five seconds, it will be created automatically. So immediate, immediate start and save. Second thing is that we have to provide steps. What are the steps? Variant we have provided, but system don't know program. What is the program here? For ME59, see for every decoder program is there. And this is a standard program. See for ME59N, the program you can see from here. The drop down list. Okay. Even I guess from the, this also, from say status also, the program you can see. Okay. You have both options. RM06 BB30. RM06 BB30. So I will enter the program name here. RM06 BB30. And the variant is a what was variant? 2409. So I will click on save. Now this screen will come. That is a step list. I will click on back and I will click on save. This message should come. The jobs uh, saved with the status release. Okay. Now what we have to do? Now we have to create purchase requisitions. Suppose user is creating purchase requisitions.
and save it. Okay, the purchase requisition number created. So what we are going to do, I will, so I'm uh, not doing anything. I'm not executing ME59N, uh, I'm not executing uh, ME21N also. Directly I'm checking in ME53N in the status tab. Okay, it is not created yet. We, we will wait for 20, 30 seconds. See, now after 15, 20, it will take some 30 seconds. Okay, so PO has been created. Okay, and this PO is created automatically without any user intervention based on the background job concept. We have not created this PO, automatically system has created. Got it? Okay, clear? Yes. Now the next thing is that how to monitor these jobs, SM37. Okay, here you can give the job name. What is the job name? 2409. Execute it. See, one job is finished. The job details you can see where it is executed, where it is scheduled. Okay. This is a job monitoring or job overview. From here, you can delete also. You can delete the job also. Suppose you want to delete. Okay. And which purchase order has been created that you can check in a, uh, your the report. So, whenever uh, for MRQ also, Suppose you want to keep my background job, then also you can create variant here. Okay, you can create variant here and you can uh, achieve this invoice posting or invoice settlement in the consignment pipeline automatically without any user intervention. Got it? Okay, so our other missing points are STO, it will take almost two, th two, three hours. Okay. Because it is very vast topic. Uh, then we have background job outline aggregates MRP. Okay. The flexible workflow data migration cockpit I have added recently. But uh, what is the issue of uh, flexible workflow and data migration cockpit? In system, some services are missing. Simple. And it will take 40 to 30, 50 minutes only. But uh, in system, the services are not activated. So we will see this later. 